Now, many of you will know that uh, as it stands, uh, Onvo has got over 120 stores opened nationwide in China. These are the stores that are making it easier for those that want to see the actual Onvo L60 on how it looks. Uh, they can get to make a precise decision. I mean, Neo has told us, on Onvo and Neo have told us that by the end of this year, they plan to have 200 Onvo stores nationwide or all over China, which is something that, of course, that is a good thing because it will attract or it will make it easier for people to easily access Onvo and see uh, the kind of a car it is, which will result into that car, of course, uh, generating more sales because it will be easily accessible or it will be at almost each and every uh, city in China, which is something that, like I said, we want to see because the more Onvo gets uh, out there is the more sales that it will be able to generate and looking at the kind of pre-orders that Onvo has generated you and me can agree that this is a vehicle or a car which is just set for greatness we might be talking about who knows 20,000 by this December which is something that is a possibility and we look forward to that now the reason why I'm talking about Onvo stores and the orders is because today we just read there is a rumor that has been trending in the streets of social media indicating that Onvo is preparing to add 55 Onvo stores this month which will take the total on stores to around 180 by the end of this month or at the end of October which this is good news this is absolutely great because like I said more stores will be uh, more sales right which is something that we are happy about as the new investors because this will generate or bring new more sales so yeah man these are great news these are massive bullish news i mean 100 on stores you know that it's something that came like a month or two ago which knowing that uh, by just a space of uh, uh, t around two months onvo will be sitting at 180 stores uh, or would have added almost 70 stores in just two months it shows you the potential or how quick onvo and neo are able to deploy or prepare a new showroom for the Onvo which is something that it's pretty exciting or an Onvo store which is something that is just good and it shows you of how easier it will be for an Onvo to scope more sales so these are wonderful news these are bullish news I mean you know that today we got the insurance registrations which unfortunately did not cater for Onvo simply because as I've said the kind of uh, uh, sales that Onvo is generating on a weekly basis are not making it to the top 10 s yet which that absolutely is going to change very soon we are going to see onvo being the top 10 of the new energy vehicle uh, chinese companies that uh, gets added to of course the list of the most selling uh, or, or the top 10 uh, in the list of the top 10 of the best or most selling new energy vehicle cars uh, for the week which is something that we look forward to so i'm happy i'm excited onvo you'll know that for the month of uh, September they sold 832 uh, deliveries and this month so many of the new investors are expecting Onvo to reach or to get to at least over 5,000 which once they get to that I think it's lights out it will be so amazing to see Onvo get to that um, number when it comes to sales because it will therefore means that Neo for the month of October will sell over 20 over 25,000 as Neo has or is already a company that is selling uh, 20,000 uh, vehicles uh, on a daily basis so I'm happy I'm excited about this I just thought I'd give you this quick update tell me what you think about Onvo adding 55 stores I think these are bull bullish news these are massive news and they might be doing this uh, also preparing for the production ramp up which is taking place like we know right so yeah this might be preparing for the 20,000 that uh, Onvo is preparing to sell maybe before the end of the year which when that happens it will be lights out right so the more Neo have these stores is the more they'll be able to deliver the more they'll be able to sell which is one thing that we're patiently waiting to see of course the kind of deliveries the kind of sales that Onvo will generate but blue sky is coming Onvo it will be the one um, that take us to the promised land because 20 once 20,000 comes we are will be quite certain that we are going to reach profitability or that is the quarter that we get to profitability or to a break even onto Neo which is something that will be so amazing so incredible 
to see on for getting to that level otherwise as i'm doing this video right now new is trading at six dollars and eight cents down 2.5 percent but yeah it's another day to just load the boat increase our holdings because one thing we know is that blue sky is coming those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will definitely be rewarded this is something that we know because uh, new it's a company that is growing continue growing fundamentally and big financial institutions are even more bullish more people are bullish on to neo which is a good sign indicating that a blue sky is coming so i'm happy i'm excited i think we should brace ourselves for what's coming i believe in the long term and uh, of course ignore the day-to-day -day movements and when a neo drops down like this for me i think it's a it's always a good opportunity to scoop more add more load the boat because we know what we own we know the kind of company that neo uh, uh, is transforming uh, to become and those that are persevering once again will definitely be rewarded so do your own due diligence so that at least you're comfortable as you are investing onto this stock or neo it is a long-term winner and those that are investing better be investing in this stock for the long term because if you are just investing uh, for the short term you might not get what you want but for the long term and that is five ten years I can definitely tell you that we will get our rewards, right? So do your own DD. That's all from me and God bless you all.